Welcome back, this is John Q, Daylight Public, and playing Misery 2.1.1, and this is Dark Mode Black Road, and I am sitting at 7 o'clock in the morning uh, after getting done with my mission to uh, kill all the bloodsuckers and got all that figured out, so let's go report this to our stalker friends. I found your friend, he's dead, he killed, killed by the late Tremor, um, yep, all the good people get killed first, the good die young, man. They don't live long enough to compromise, so let's go ahead and take a nap and start the last mission that I'm going to do, I think, here in town. I'm probably going to do uh, this last mission and do a sweep uh, to see if I can get a little bit more loot, and then I'm going to be going on to uh, the uh, next area, which is going to be Jupiter. And since I'm trying to get all the stashes, I know there's ones that I have not gotten here, but I'm going to wait for some of those until a little bit later time. But right now I'm going to get the stash on top of the Skadovsk here. I'm going to save it right here, because this is going to be... This is really frustrating if you don't do it right the first time. And that's why. And for some reason that didn't hurt me. It's because I'm magical. Just magical. That reminds me. I need to get one last thing before we go. We're going to try to finish this Cardan missions with um, finding his long-lost buddy. And I think that's the last thing we need to do. And for that, I'm going to need some... Stuff to protect me from the um, the poisonous gases underground. Okay, let's try this one more time. Hop up, hop up, miss. Okay, I think I found a glitch in the game. I'm gonna do that when I get back. Okay. What's most frustrating about just what I happen to be right there is just doing the exact same thing twice. Exactly. If that doesn't chap your caboose, I don't know what the fuck chaps your caboose. And I must say that um, this is one large amount of rain that we've been continuing to get here in the zone. Oh, yeah. That's another reason why I wanted to uh, go down and get this guy, because there's going to be some artifacts down here. Likely. Do a, I'm going to run over the top of the cavern here. Oh, there's a couple right there, so... Let's get ready to do this. I will be irradiated, but that's okay. Because I can take this. This lasts 434 seconds. Okay, took my medication. Everything went black. I guess it's working. I got my bolts out, and we're Whoa! Flamey, flamey. There is a lot of... A lot of artifacts down here. Awesome. This is exactly what I was hoping would be happening. Okay, you're right there. Secret how to get that one out. Go and just stick a toe into... One of these uh, things, freeze it up. Save it right there. Let's go to the other side of this thing. Oh, watch out for those things again, burned. All right.
Okay, that's two. There's more over in this direction. That's another important one to have. I needed that for an upcoming mission I have not gotten yet. And there's the buddy. It's hard to see with all those texts on the screen, which mildly frustrating. People are just such good friends to Cardan, our friend. Okay. I don't know if there's any... Well, a little close to that. A little close to that one, too. That was freaking close. Okay, being heavily irradiated right now. And I emerge alive. Alive, I tell you. This is not the time to be attacked to attack me, dogs. I'm in a very bad mood after jumping off the side of the ship twice. Although I did get somewhat placated by finding three artifacts, one of one one artifact that I need to have for the next stage of the game. So let's drop these off. And do 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 Let's sell those documents to Cardan, not Cardan, but, um, who's he, Wedgetville? Uh, Al. We'll sell those to Al soon. And while I'm doing stuff, save this here and keep on talking over whatever song is playing in the background because I don't want to have a copyright violation. Let's see. Hello, Nimble. Nimble is one of the guys we saved in the first Stalker games, Shadow of Chernobyl. And I want to place an order. I would like to have a customized pistol. Mm, or would I like to have a customized shotgun? Let's go customized pistol. Because it's cheaper. There you go. What time is it now? It is 2200, so about 24 hours from now it will be done. I'm going to save my game here. And let's go back outside and, and do a run around and get some uh, loot. Let's see. Anything else I want to bring with me on this trip? On this trip to the zone? A couple more hand grenades. Okay. What I'm going to do here is fix this pistol up and take it with me because I'm probably going to need it. And I'm going to go in a circle a couple more times because it's difficult for me to figure out what the hell I'm doing, change directions and stuff. So let's run outside. Yay, outside. Let's run up here and make the third pass. Third pass at getting up. Save it. Alright, on there.
what I found is very helpful when you fall off things in this game is use a lot of little mini jumps. Mini jump and actually land what you're mini jumping on. Trees, this really works with in this game. One jump onto there, jump, jump, fall off, stashola. Okay. That time, I fell off even a smaller distance, and uh, I felt myself land, because the sound effect has been programmed for that area of the boat, I guess. So, let's run up here and see what mischief we can do, if we can find some mercs and bandits that we can rob and loot, because we're good people. And if we can find some of those uh, people to loot and uh, we will have a little bit better time getting going over the next part of the mission or the next area I should say so let's see here let's see if stalkers are still in this base or if it's been taken over by bandits Let me just say that was fucking cool. They are not on their game tonight. I'm gonna cap this guy from upstairs. I feel like a dick. Big dick. I thought he looked stalkerish, but I couldn't figure out why there was stuff going the fuck on. Man. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. Why the fuck were you sure in this spot? You guys are traitors, probably. That's what was happening. Oh, man. Man alive. Now I feel like kind of a dick. Okay. Well, let's see if there's anybody over here. And if there isn't, then I'm going to take a chance. Run back into the base and... Uh, repair my handgun and go and try to do some more damage hopefully not murdering friends again so yes okay The 
rain continues in the Pripyat marshes. Okay, let's get on back to the boat and drop some shit off while I'm walking there. Look both ways before I cross the road for mercs and shit. Uh, and then let's keep on moving here. See if I can do some inventory management while I'm walking. Only slightly. Not very much ammo I have been able to secure from this mission, but I got some fairly valuable loot. Too bad uh, the blood of compatriots is on it. Um, but friendly fire is usually something that does happen in um, most armed conflicts. Um, friend foe recognition is definitely difficult. Um, even when they're shouting Pat fucking Tillman, if you are, are familiar with the Afghanistan uh, U.S. American footballer story, um, or even more obscure things like the uh, you know carpet bombing of American forces in World War II in Europe, etc., etc. Uh, most of the things that I know um, about friendly fire things are more American-centric because I have a lot more knowledge of American military history than I do foreign military history. Foreign as in extra U.S., I guess. Um, I am fairly familiar, and I try to keep my hand in with uh, keeping up with uh, other sorts of world events out there with newspapers or uh, studying stuff. I'm currently reading um, Christopher Clark's book, The Sleepwalkers, which so far has been a very interesting uh, history of uh, the goings on, uh, the diplomatic problems that led to the First World War. Um, and you would, s you know, it is easy to believe that. Uh, you know, there's not much interesting happening in that. However, I would beg to differ. It's been very interesting so far to hear about the backwards dealings in the Balkans um, and ministries in the different entente and tripartite powers. Um, I've been doing a lot of gorging with First World War histories this uh, last year in 2014 and seems to have continued on into 2015 now. Um, so, it's just been, you know, the 100 year anniversary has really been hitting me good. So, um, just really interesting stuff. That's all I gotta say about that right now. Okay, let's go out and kill us some more um, something or others. And the general reason why I don't run around with uh, my flashlight on is because it makes me such a good target, if you haven't figured that out yet. And I'd much rather be running around without that on, rather than being a light and a shape, just a shape. Um, also try to stay away from running on ridge lines. Obviously, I am probably being overly paranoid about this, but... Um, you saw what happened in Merkmania and how Merktastical that was. Okay, so... Let's save it here, and let's see if anybody's in the boat. If nobody's in the boat. Somebody's in the boat. And I was afraid of friendly fire, and I got fired on. And uh, they fucked me up. They fucked me up good. 
least I know that I have uh, more mercs to kill. So this is going to be a fruitful outing. And once again, I really got a shout out to the um, Misery development team for just how cool this shit is, even these loading screens. Um, Art. right above me. One way to find out. Sometimes fast target recognition is the best. And sometimes it's not. Number two. So one, two, three, four, at least four. Wow. Okay. We're going to do this slightly differently this time. Just slightly. that was better. That was pretty cool. And you get quiet when it gets crazy.
I love it when mutants are doing my work for me. I'll have some mutant parts. Some free mutant parts. And a workable spaz, so I don't have to use that damn Amstel Protecta. Nothing useful. That was a pretty fun little gunfight. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Not garbage. Save, motherfucker. Oh, that's garbage. I gotta get rid of that, too. Okay, this has been very productive. I haven't even gone that far from home, and I've run into mercs and bandits and more mercs. So, mm. what I'm hoping I get from that pistol is that the uh, Heckler and Coke USP, uh, and I really like that pistol in this game. I've used it in a couple games, so I'm kind of looking forward to spring. Uh, 45 caliber lead. Okay. It's almost like greedy to go and see if there's more to get, but might as well. I got five more hours until I go take a nap. And there are some mutants. Where did that go? It's like freaking disappeared. Stupid game glitch. No, it was hiding under that. Oh, wow. Hello. You are one athletic fucking dog. Pseudo dog. Not anymore athletic. I didn't hear any other mutant sounds. Did anybody else? No. Oh, fuck you. Not. Nothing useful. That's bullshit. Nothing to appear on the top. There's something loading. Let's see this. Haven't run into a pseudo giant for a while. Which is kinda okay. Those are fun to kill. Sort of puts everything into its perspective when you're trying to kill a pseudo giant. Look like there's anybody here. It'd be nice to have like a, a a dry night once here in the Pripyat marshes. Let's get closer to that. That looks like it's money. A rubles 
for free. Get your rubles for nothing and your chicks for free. Looks like they're doing God's work over there. And it looks like they're horribly outnumbered. Let's get a little closer and see how they react. us horning in on their area. There might be one more unless the mutants got him. That's why you don't use that rifle. Because it's not that accurate. And doesn't shoot fast enough. Also not a good long-range weapon to have. <laughs> 